Hi guys, I got asked a question on my YouTube channel today and I just thought I would clarify it. There are some videos where I use a process called step recording. I'll just show you now on Reaper how I set that up. I typically use the step record functionality whenever I'm trying to play something that I can't play. But for the sake of argument, let's say that we're trying to program on some drums like this. And I quite often use step record for programming drums. So let's look at how we set it up. Let's first of all make a MIDI item and open up our MIDI editor. Now the two things that we're going to look at first is down here at the bottom where it has notes and grid. And we can see that the grid is set to 16 straight. Notes is set to 16 dotted, so let's change that to straight. What this means is that when I step record in a note, it will record a 16th note and the cursor will move on one 16th note. Okay, so I've got step record on here first now so that we can see what happens. So let's, for the sake of argument, just set these to eighth straight. Any note that I now record will be recorded as an eighth note. So if I record more than one note, and you can see that the cursor has moved on to the next eighth note. Okay, so what have we recorded here? All right, and you can see that it has also recorded the velocities that I've hit the notes by. Of course, we can change these later, but sometimes it is good to use step record if you want to actually play in some of the velocities as well. So let's look at how it's set up. If we go to the actions menu in Reaper, and select action list and in the section go to midi editor and search for step we can see the second one down here is options midi inputs as step input mode so there's a couple of ways that we could enable this we could set up a shortcut here so say Control alt s or whatever and then every time we press that shortcut we go into step mode and when we press that shortcut we come out of step mode or we could do what i've done and set up a button in the MIDI editor. So I've got a button up here that turns on and off step record. So when that's off, I can play as normal and it won't move forward. And when it's on, then step record starts working. So how is that set up? If we right click and go customize toolbar, I have added on a new button and I've just called it step. So here it is here, MIDI inputs as step input mode. So I've set that button up already, so I don't need to do it again. But that's exactly how you could set it up. So let's start over again and actually try and step on something very straightforwardly. We shall do this. So we've got a drum beat like that. And if we do the same thing on a bass guitar track, and we can see that step mode is on. So let's just play a low E. So let's see what we have now recorded. So that's how step mode works in Reaper. I hope you find that useful. Thanks guys.